A work breakdown structure is a chart that lays out tasks or activities for a project. They break down the large project into categories, which we can further break down into smaller and smaller units. Um, when we get to the end of a branch, we call these things work packages. So I'll just highlight all of the work packages. These are what will become the activities in our Gantt charts and our network diagrams that we've been working with up until this point. Um, but previously, we, we had just been provided with a table of dependencies. Um, but those activities on the table of dependencies actually come from a work breakdown structure. So the first thing you have to do actually for, say you want to build a project, uh, like a house or something, we're going to look at a construction project here. First, someone has to come by and identify, okay, what are we going to have to do to build this house? First, we'll need the foundation and the structure and then some other things. Uh, and then they can further break those down. Okay, yeah, we'll have to excavate. We'll need some concrete for the foundation. We'll need to build the frame, the roof, etc. And then you keep breaking those down into, uh, into more and more subtasks until you have all of these work packages which are completely distinguishable from each other, which we can then uh, put into a table of dependencies and start figuring out which ones might have to happen first and how long we expect them to take and things like that. So all of the ones here at the end of any branch I have highlighted in green. These guys will form our activities in the Gantt chart and network diagram. Something else to mention with the work breakdown structure is the level. So the project level is always referred to as level one. So we'll write that over here on the side. We'll have level, project level will always be level one. And every time you have an element like this that branches off into more elements, that's you're increasing your level by one. So all of these guys, foundation, structure, and general, would be on level two. They all happen to branch out at the same kind of level here, or the height. Uh, and where they all branch out to the next set of elements, that's level three. And you can kind of see what the pattern is. These are going to branch out into level four. Uh, down here, this guy will branch out into level 5, and even though there's only one down here, this is technically the sixth level of our work breakdown structure. Um, the last thing I would like to mention, just in the brief introduction to the work breakdown structure, is two things. One is don't use vague wording. I specifically wrote general here on purpose. Um, let's not cross that out. Let's use a circle. Uh, general is like, that's an extremely vague wording, so try to be more particular than that. And if, if you find a uh, a more specific set of words, you might have to reorganize uh, the subtasks that come after it. That's fine because if someone looks at foundation or structure, they have a pretty good idea of what you're talking about. Um, whereas general, who knows what that is, right? You'd have to, it's, not, it's just totally vague. So try and be more specific than that. And also the other thing to look at is down here. This is a single breakdown. We want to avoid these if possible, unless there's an industry standard that forces us to use one. But it just gets uh, everywhere else you'll see that we always have one element leading into two or more. Uh, here we have two. Here we have this guy leading into four. But here it's just leading into one. Uh, sometimes this will happen with an industry standard uh, if you're following a certain format. But if not, always try and avoid that because then what distinguishes this work package? Like what is this? This is just a subtask category that leads into a work package. That can probably get eliminated and just make this, this the whole work package right here. All right, I will see you in the next video and we will talk about the... PMI numbering system.